This woman right here. America was started as a business. Nothing but facts. It's not about your freedom. It's a business. So we're sitting up begging these white men to give us rights. No, affect their money. That's why white men change stuff. Segregation ended because of the Montgomery Boys boycott, because the city of Montgomery almost went bankrupt because of an 18-month boycott. These white men all of a sudden didn't change their minds. Abraham Lincoln did not free the free enslaved people because he felt like he needed to do this. He did it to cripple the South economically. Anytime they've done anything, it wasn't to help us because we were humans. It was to mess up another white man's money. So we don't get rights until we mess up a white man's money. That's it. And until they see us as human beings, we have to mess their money up. You know how That's many it. times I done said, hold up the line. Y'all done seen my video. I say it, hold up the line. That's all they respect. When you holding up their money, that's what hold up the line means. That's what I mean when I say hold up the line. When you go in court and you start fighting for your rights and they used to executing a certain amount, a certain amount of cases, but when you come in, you you holding up the line because you 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 asserting your rights and it, they taking longer to deal with you than they usually take, you're messing up their money. And if more of us go in the system, messing up the money, okay? holding up the line, then things will change. Until that, until then, we can complain all we want. If you ain't affecting these people bottom line, just think about that. If somebody, if you got people complaining about you but it ain't affecting anything you're doing, would, do you really care? Would you really cater to that? No, you wouldn't. So, you know, learn how to hold up the line.